guys, it is Kimberly from withuskimberly.com, your independent Cincy consultant, and I got in January's warmer incentive of the month, and you guys know that I always love doing these videos for you, and actually, I just spent 20 minutes doing an unboxing video for you guys, and it turned out so bad that <laughs> I had to stop and finish what I was doing and just do a regular video for you guys because I know good and well that you guys would not sit through a 20 minute video. So. Um, I was so excited to do the unboxing because if you haven't seen this warmer yet, it is unlike any warmer that we have ever had, which was really exciting. So I wanted to do it all at the same time so you guys could see it when I saw it. Uh, it was a disaster. So, like I said, this warmer is completely different than any other warmer that we've ever had. So hopefully this warmer will influence potentially some warmers in the spring and summer catalog. And so we'll talk about that in a second. So first, let's always talk about the scent. So the first scent is Ice Hotel. So it has a light blue sticker and then also has light blue wax. So um, I've already smelt this, of course, when I did the unboxing video. Um, I will tell you that right when you open it and you smell it, you get a different scent than when you rub it. So whenever I first opened it and I smelled it, it smelled like whenever I was younger, and I would take those nice, long, hot baths. My mom would pour the Calgon in the box. Um, it was turned the water blue and it made you all soft. That's what it smells like whenever you don't rub it, like whenever you don't warm it with your thumb. However, when you do warm it with your thumb, something completely different comes out. Um, so that is a good example of when you warm something, it smells completely different than whenever you smelled it like at a party um, or out of the tester. So whenever you do actually rub it with your thumb, it smells more of like a man scent. So it smells like men's soap. So um, zest, Old Spice, Axe, like it has that type of scent. Irish Spring. So let me read you the scent description. So it says, surround yourself with crystalline ice and pure white snow as you breathe in a cool magical fragrance of blue mint, arctic pine, and winter citrus. So whenever I first read this scent back on the 1st of December, I was super excited because I love peppermint scents. So whenever I saw blue mint, that's the first thing that came to my mind was a like peppermint. Um, but that is not, that's not the type of mint that, that this is. This spell, smells like a, like a spicy mint. I don't know how to, how to describe it. Like it's sharp. I don't even know if you can define a scent as sharp, but um, that's, it smells like soap. Like if you go down the men's soap aisle, that is exactly what it smells like. All right, on to the warmer. Now the warmer is called Charmer, and if you guys know Scentsy, we usually get put out a warmer um, for the upcoming month, the month before. So in January, um, we have a Valentine's Day warmer, so that way you can have it for Valentine's Day. Um, same thing with um, November. November was like the Christmas type warmer. So this warmer, like I said, it's completely different than any one that we've ever had, and I could not wait. I could not wait. However, whenever I did my unboxing video, it literally took me some time to put it together. <laughs> on the floor. Be careful. Okay, I found one. One piece of glass on the floor. Okay, so make sure you set aside some time if you get this one to do this because it got a little messy and um, lesson learned and I'll tell you how I did it here in a second. Um, but the description for Charmer is give your heart away with Charmer, a stunning new warmer that displays 
frosted beach glass and red hearts between panes of glass. Turn it on to cast a sweetly romantic glow at your Valentine's table for dose. So, beach glass, you say. So, if you live near the coast, you probably know what beach glass is. Um, it's any type of glass that people have thrown into the ocean or have been dumped in the ocean and over time has broken and the sand has um, made it soft. So it's this really beautiful type of glass. So if you live on the coast, like I said, you are pretty familiar with what beach glass is. So this, let me get out a handful. So this is the beach glass that we're talking about. So this is man-made beach glass. So it's pretty much just crushed, crushed glass. So with that being said, please be careful because there are sharp edges, which means that you could cut yourself. So please be careful. So don't do this around your pets or your children. Make sure you do it yourself um, and make sure not to step on it. Okay, let me just put this all together so you can see what this looks like. This is Charmer. It's pretty neat. So you have the dish, and then you have the ring. Let's see what it's called. Yeah, warmer ring. And then you have the base, and whenever you do get the base, it's actually called Silver Charmer Base. So that way, if you end up ordering um, any of the lampshade warmers, um, you'll see that they have narrow base, pedestal base. So this one actually says charmer base, so you'll know that it goes with this warmer. Now, I don't think I can do what I wanted to do, but there is a hole. So, like, it goes all the way through. Look at that, I made myself a little bracelet. So, um, the inside glass, this glass that's right here, is frosted. And of course, this is clear. And then you get a little bag of these cute little hearts. Some people do it very um, methodically, like layer, 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 layer. I didn't care. Um, it didn't really matter to me. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, but like I said, like I really hope this influences some warmer warmers in the spring and summer catalog. So hopefully they'll come up with different types of beach glass, different colors to match your decor. That'd be super cool. I would definitely buy every color that matched my home in that case. So with that being said, um, I'll turn it on for you, but you won't be able to see it. Unfortunately, it just glows like crazy. So I'll show you the picture on the flyer and then I'll take a picture for you. And it just, it just glows. So that is, would be a great like night light or kind of like the lampshade collection. So this is what the warmer actually looks like on the on the flyer. Now in this picture you can see it kind of looks like a like a yellowy, like a soft glow, like how it says. But you can see that the glass is blue. So it whenever it's on, it doesn't really look like a flyer. It has more of a blue glow than a soft yellow glow. Now I also heard a couple people saying, oh, like I have my own beach glass. I'll put my own beach glass in there. Or I have like the, the stones that you can put in the bottom of a fish tank. I have those. I'll put those in there. Um, just be careful because anything that you do to a Scentsy warmer that isn't given to you by Scentsy could void your lifetime warranty. So make sure you keep that in mind. Um, whenever you are using something other than Scentsy, just in case. Um, if you are a rebel, you go right on ahead, whatever you want to do. But if you want to make sure you keep your lifetime warranty, make sure you stick with what Scentsy gives you. So if you would like a sample of Ice Hotel, let me know. Um, I will try to get you a sample before the first of the month. So that way you have an idea of what that smells like. If you're consulted and you have already smelled it, put it down below what you think so that way other people can see. Um, if you like the Charmer Warmer, um, and make sure you share this video so that way other people can see what this warmer looks like. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and you know what? Hold that thought. I have a couple announcements for you guys. So at the end of this month, Vanilla Bean Buttercream was July's 
June, July's December that month. Hey, hey. So if you like this scent, and it is amazing, you need to stock up on it. I, I literally bought, I bought a six pack of these. So it smells like you're baking a cake. It smells amazing. And then next, bricks are still available, so I went ahead and bought me another brick. You guys saw in the video I had Eskimo Kiss, so Cider Mill is also another favorite of mine. So there are literally almost six bars in here, so it's definitely a better deal to get the brick than to get the bars. So definitely something to think about. And as you probably noticed, like everything is bare. That's because it's all packed up. Oh, and it's out is my computer on my desk. So I am officially moving. This will be the last video that you see in this space. I am moving from Houston to Los Angeles. So if you're in Los Angeles, let me know. Put it in the comments um, so that we can kind of have a sensey meetup or the sorts. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that kind of fun stuff. Happy holidays, whatever you want to say. And I will see you guys in the new year. Bye, guys.